There is nothing more important in this lifetime than our health. I was restricting my calories so much, literally almost starving myself. I was losing weight like crazy. All of that will definitely catch up with you in the future. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I've lost 135 pounds. I've been maintaining my weight for over 15 years. And one of the questions I get asked the most is, you know, how did you do it? Well, what tricks do you know? Is there a magic pill? Like I always get these questions of people like looking for a shortcut, right? Short term answer is no, there isn't a magic pill. You just have to put that work in. That's just the bottom line. So I've read a few comments that were like, oh, well, there is a magic pill. There's Ozempic. There's Majorian, or I don't, I don't know that there's like three different medications right now going around super popular. You know, some people are using it for diabetes. I know that one of the benefits or one of the side effects is weight loss. A lot of people are, you know, going after this for weight loss. Now, the thing is that a lot of people are also experiencing a lot of weight gain. So they're like, oh yes, I was successful, but then I gained all the way back. So it doesn't work. Well, I don't necessarily think that's true. Just from personal experience over the years of yo-yo dieting, because I definitely went through that. That was something that I experienced early on in my journey. And I was always so confused about it. I was like, why? Like I worked so hard to get that weight off. And the truth is that you have to lose the weight in a way that is sustainable for you. Meaning you can live that way forever, or at least for a very, 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 very long time. Now I lost weight at one point, calorie restricting. I was restricting my calories so much, literally almost starving myself. I was losing weight like crazy, going to the gym excessively. Yeah, I lost weight, but guess what happened as soon as I started eating a little more? Scale started going up, my jeans started fitting me tight, I started gaining weight because I can't live off of a thousand calories. I'm almost six feet tall and honestly, it's not that's not healthy for anyone. Like kids eat more than that. Like I love to eat, I love food and I think that at the end of the day, there are ways for you to eat where you can still enjoy delicious meals, where you can still enjoy almost everything that you love that can still maintain your weight, that can still help you lose weight if that's your goal. I do a little hydration break. Mm. It is so hard for me to drink water throughout the day. I put a little packet of Element in here. It's a little chili mango. So it tastes really delicious and then it actually helps me drink water. So whether you are on a weight loss journey or living a low carb lifestyle, it's super, super important to stay hydrated and also just to make sure you get that water in. It helps flush things out, helps keep things going. The one that I take is the one from Element. It's a little, just a little packet, super convenient. It has electrolytes, minerals, no sugar. So I personally love the chili mango, but they do have a bunch of different flavors. Actually right now, if you purchase any flavor on Element, you get a free trial pack, which gives you like all the flavors that they make. And then you can choose which one you actually like, but I'll leave the link in the description below so you can get that free sample pack. And so I don't want to get too much off topic here, but I've heard a lot of people say that like Ozempic is a magic pill. Well, here's the thing. I feel that no matter how you do it, I think that you just have to, you have to make a lifestyle change. Like you have to change your diet if you wanna maintain those results. You can lose weight through calorie restriction. You can lose weight through going to the gym all the time. You can lose weight through fasting all the time. You can lose weight with all of these things, but unless you plan on doing that forever, you will end up gaining some weight back if not all. So. The trick here is to find a way that works for you. Now, for me personally, it's it's low carb, right? That has been my way now for many, many years. Sure, sometimes I gain a little bit of weight, but then I just go back to not eating junk, not eating a lot of snacks, not eating a lot of desserts. And then little by little, my weight starts to drop. Like right now I'm putting together a meal plan of what I am currently doing because I told you um, that I did gain a little weight over the last, what, two, three years. And so now I've been actively losing weight. Again, I'm not, do this isn't like a overnight type of weight loss. This is little by little. When you do it little by little, you actually maintain that weight loss or you keep that weight off 
because you are doing it through diet. Like I feel like some of us, sometimes when we think diet, you think like you're starving yourself, you're not eating, it's bland food, it's nasty, it's, you know, it's not what I wanna do. No, I really just mean that like I'm following a plan and I follow my own plan. I've been doing this for many years. Again, I've, I've kept the weight off for all these years, which I truly believe that the maintenance journey is actually more difficult than the initial weight loss journey. Once you reach your goal, it's like, oh yeah, I, re I reached my goal, awesome. Like now, you know, I can go back to the way I was eating and that's definitely not the case because once you reach your goal, if you go back to eating like you were before, then little by little, your weight is gonna go back to the way it was before. So I hope that makes sense, but anyway, so I truly believe that you can totally use any of this medication out there. I'm not one to say like, don't do that, don't do this. Hey, do whatever works for you. But if you wanna keep that weight off, you definitely need to change what you're eating. If I'm not mistaken, Ozempic or any of those um, medications also suppress your appetite, which means you're gonna eat less. So if you continue eating Top Ramen or if you can continue eating junk food or pizza or whatever, but you're just eating smaller amounts of it, what's gonna happen when you stop taking the shot? Well, your cravings are gonna come back, your hunger's gonna come back, all everything that you were craving and wanting before will come back, and then little by little, you're gonna start eating it again, and then your weight will just creep back to what it was before. So in order for you to maintain that weight loss, you need to also change what you're eating long-term. And you definitely don't wanna be eating those foods anyways because all of that will definitely catch up with you in the future. So I feel like sometimes we don't think about that because we're young and we're like, okay, I wanna live my life, YOLO. But the truth is that there is nothing more important in this lifetime than our health. Like literally nothing. Because when you're sick, it does not matter what car you drive, where you live, how much money's in your bank account, like none of that matters, none of that. And if you had the chance to trade, it doesn't matter like millions of dollars for you to be like a healthy individual versus being like bedridden, you would trade it all because you can't enjoy anything if you don't have your health. And it honestly took me a long time to really like process that, but it's the truth, right? I don't know if you've heard that, I'm pretty sure you have, but it's like food can either be your illness or your medicine. Like that's actually super crazy to think, but like everything we put into our bodies can actually change your day. A lot of people that suffer from depression, that suffer from migraines, that suffer from like so many different health issues, whether it's inflammation in your joints, your gut, blah, 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 all of that stems from food. Like, isn't that crazy? Like, because nobody teaches us this, right? It's taken me years and years to learn this. And yes, it's so simple, but the truth is like, there's all, it's also so deep. And like, until you fully understand that it's on a cellular level, that like, when you have sugar, your cells change and it feeds it. You know what I mean? Like, and if you wanna know more information about that, like, of I'd be so happy to try and like kind of break things down so that you do understand it. Only because it, that's how I had to learn, like really breaking everything down so that um, it just kind of made sense for me. But now that I do understand it, I'm like, okay, I can't do that. Like, I'm not gonna do that to myself. I'm not gonna do that to my body. And don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect. Like I go out and if I'm traveling and I feel like having something, I'm gonna have it. But 90% of the time I am eating good. And it just makes me feel really good um, knowing that I'm doing that for myself because at the end of the day, I don't just want to live a long life. I want to live an active long life. Like I want, you know what I mean? Like I want to be out there skiing and I want to be out there, you know, hiking and just traveling and doing all of that. So anyway, I hope that made sense. And um, I want to hear your, I want to hear your thoughts on this. I'm pretty sure some of you out there have tried whether it be ozempic or whether it be some other type of medication for weight loss i want to hear like were you able to keep that weight off did the weight creep back on when you got off of the medication like what were your what was your experience on it you know i'm sure other people would love to hear it as well i've shared my experience through um dieting and exercise and that's really the only thing that i have to share but 
I have learned so much from that because I made mistakes along the way. And so if I can share them with you and help you avoid making some of those same mistakes, then it's totally worth it and I will do it over and over again. But um, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I can't wait to read your comments and see you know, what you've experienced and whether or not some of these medications out there have worked for you. If you have friends and family that are either on a weight loss journey, thinking about taking this medication, please share this video and my channel with them. You never know, it could be super, super helpful. But thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.